What's up? It's J. Rowe here on The J. Rowe Show. Hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. If you are joining me coming over from Facebook, welcome. Thanks for being here on my YouTube feed. And if you are one of my YouTube subscribers who's been with me for years and years and years, thank you for joining me. I am doing today, uh, my beautiful friends, a video that people have been asking for for a long, long time. Uh, and I don't know why it's taken me <laughs> this long to do it. I guess I've kind of done a version of this video of a kitchen tour and showing you guys what I eat on a daily basis a little bit here and there in my live videos and a little bit here on YouTube. And if you've been watching me for years in my recipe videos, you've definitely seen a lot of the products that I love and use all the time. But I wanted to give you an official kitchen tour showing you what's in my cabinets, showing you what I stock my kitchen with on a regular basis, and also showing you what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis. The foods, the supplements, the ingredients that I incorporate into my recipes every single day. So it's a cool moment because I'm gonna be giving you guys the nitty gritty of all the crazy stuff in that cabinet and also, also you're gonna you're gonna find out my hiding spots. I just I just I don't know if I should tell you guys, but I have some hiding spots here in the house and that's where the good stuff is lurking. That's where that's where the premium stuff is hanging out. So first of all, if you're joining me, thanks for being here on the live feed. And if you're watching after the live feed, that's cool too. But let's dive in. This is the main cabinet. And the cabinet behind me was, I got it from Ikea, okay? I got it, I got it from Ikea because I like to be frustrated for hours trying to put together furniture that has incomprehensible directions with no words on it. It's just diagrams. I like to torture myself in that way, okay? But I put this together because I actually needed a second food cabinet because I was running out of space. I know it's like a horrible problem to have, but... Being in the food business, being a chef for years, people send you all kinds of great food items to try. They send you wonderful supplements and superfoods. So I was running out of room, which is why I got this cabinet. So let's dive in. I'm going to show you guys what I have in here and what I take on a daily basis and just kind of stuff that I have hanging around. So I've organized this in a pretty logical manner. On the top of the shelf, you can see I have sweeteners, right? All manner of sweeteners. So uh, right now, I'm really big into Lakanto. I really, really like this. It's a monk fruit zero glycemic sweetener. I've got some stevia. I've got some yacon syrup. We've got some bee free honey hanging out in the back. I've got some coconut sugar. So what else do we have here? Coconut syrup, more yacon, stevia. So I've got low glycemic and zero glycemic sweeteners at the top, right? So got this all organized, ready to sweeten up the party. Very, very cool and organized. Now, the second shelf is more kind of like superfoods, powders, superfood ingredients. So over here, we've got kind of like a part of the supplement section. So this is um, Matrix Energy. This is uh, Ohm Mushrooms. This is my pre-workout drink. I really, really love this with cordyceps and reishi mushroom. I've got some matcha from Matcha Bar. Love that. Uh, again, Ohm Mushrooms has a organic mushroom powder blend that I use for supplementing in my post-workout shakes. What else do I have back here? Chia seeds, of course. Love me some chia seeds. Uh, Lakanto drinking chocolate. This is my favorite hot chocolate on the market. We've got maca chino, roasted magical mint maca. I've got, ooh, I've got some stuff back here I forgot about. Uh, I've got jujubes, which are really amazing. These are red date berries. I've got some stuff from organic, uh, I'm sorry, essential living foods, uh, some trail mix. I have their, um, their new smoothie mixes that they just sent me, which is really cool. I'm looking forward to trying these a maca, a chocolate, and a super berry protein. So that's cool, I'm looking forward to digging into that. Uh, I've got some, ooh, forgot about these too. I've got some pecans, some pecans that need to be hand cracked. Those are good for omega-3 fatty acids. I've got mesquite powder, I've got lucuma, I've got holy basil, I've got some sunflower butter. Uh, oh, if you guys are into Nutella, this is amazing. This is a Suntella from Lakanto. Really, really delicious, totally sugar-free, tastes just like Nutella. Okay, so now we're moving on, guys, to like the bulk dry items. These are like my staple goods. So I don't know what that's doing back there, but that's really good, these hemp hard toppers. I've got coconut milk. I have some sunflower seeds, black-eyed peas. I've got some vegan... Oh, this, by the way, guys, this veggie broth, if you don't know about this veggie broth, it is some of the most spectacular savory veggie broth on earth. This is amazing. It's called Zoop. You guys definitely got to check out that veggie broth brand. What else do I have? I've got uh, risotto rice. I've got buckwheat. I've got millet. I've got quinoa. 
I've got polenta hanging out back here. I've got all kinds of basmati rices, pink rice, ancient grains, quinoas hiding back there. And then I have my pasta section. Uh, just discovered this new brand, actually, thanks to my friend Whitney, Eco Vegan Gal. She turned me on to this uh, brown rice twist from Casalare. Really, really good gluten-free pasta. Uh, more pasta here, red rice. Ooh, this is my favorite ramen, guys. If you guys are not down with this, this is Lotus Foods Ramen. Lotus Foods Ramen, super delicious, totally gluten-free, really nutrient-dense. Love, love, love that ramen brand. So that's pastas and rices and ramen and kind of dry goods. And then we go down here, and this is where, well, this shelf needs a little help right now, I guess. Someone's been, someone's been craving pistachios over here. So this is kind of like seeds and nuts. I've got pistachios here, which I eat every day. Uh, hemp hearts I eat every single day. These are two things I eat every single day. Um, we've got some cereals back there. We've got some chocolate baking chips. Let me put these back so I can show you guys. We've got some goji berries hanging out. Uh, Love Crunch Organic Granola. This is really delicious. And then I've got some flowers back here. Ooh, dropping pistachios. We don't want to be dropping pistachios, guys. Uh, I've got amaranth flour. I've got quinoa flour and just, I don't do a whole lot of baking in the summertime. Oh, and also, this is great, guys. Follow Your Heart Vegan Egg. This is fantastic, super delicious. Cooks up like egg, has the consistency of egg. If you haven't tried this yet, it's really, really good. It needs some seasoning, but consistency-wise, it's really, really good. You gotta check that out. So down here, I'm getting into uh, Sun Warrior Protein Bars. I eat one of these. I keep a few of these in my glove box. If you guys actually watched my uh, YouTube video, a few YouTube videos ago, about what I keep in my car, I always have Sun Warrior Protein Bars on hand because they are a lifesaver in my glove box. Love those. Uh, I've got Organifi Green Juice, some Sunflower Cacao Spread, Maple Syrup, Apple Cider Vinegar, Nori Sheets. My seaweed section is in the back. And I really, really love this spice brand. You guys can check this out. It's a uh, Tournaforcia. And this is a really delicious spice blend from my friend Greg Arnold. He's a chef here in Los Angeles. And this is some of the best spices I've ever tried. So if you guys can find these online, it is my absolute favorite spice line. So delicious, so flavorful, so hearty. So if you guys can look at Tournaforcia and find their za'atar, their Moroccan olive salt, they have a lot of great spices. Love, love, love these guys. Uh, I've got a collection of really highly mineralized salts. My favorite brand here is the uh, Celtic Sea Salt, and they have a Hawaiian Makai Deep Sea Salt blend. This is my favorite salt on earth. I love this stuff, and I use it in my recipes all the time because it's really mineral dense and really delicious. Okay, so down here is kind of like my, my fitness and performance supplement section. So I've got some Nutiva hemp protein down here. I've got some Sun Warrior hanging out. I've got their Ormus Super Greens. Uh, you guys know how much I love the Sun Warrior. Uh, I've got some Vega hanging out back there too, although I don't like the flavor as much as the Sun Warrior. The Berry Sun Warrior is still my favorite. Uh, Super Greens, got my Organifi. I've got this, which I'm looking forward to trying soon. This is kind of like an, uh, a structured seawater with electrolytes. I'm going to try that during my next workout. Uh, electrolyte powder, tocotrienols, liquid light, some other samples from Health Force. So this is kind of like my supplement and protein section. So what I want to talk about now is, is what I eat every single day. I wanted to give you guys a tour of what's in my cabinet, but every single day I eat dark berries of some kind. I eat blueberries, blackberries, raspberry, acai, strawberries, dark berries of some kind for all the antioxidants. I have dark leafy greens, usually spicy or bitter greens, which are great for your liver, whether that's dandelion greens, arugula, kale, spinach, watercress. So every day, berries, dark leafy greens. I eat nuts, pecans, walnuts, hemp seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds. Uh, I do a protein shake with Sun Warrior every day and usually an almond milk, a coconut milk, pistachio milk, or a flax milk. Uh, every day I make sure, especially on workout days, that I get plenty of protein. So I usually do tempeh, I'll do hemp tofu, uh, I'll do garbanzo beans, black beans, uh, I'll do broccoli, cauliflower, sweet potatoes. So these are just a few of my every single day staples that I eat all the time. So I think there's another secret, is there a secret cabinet? I think I told you guys about a secret cabinet and I don't wanna, I don't wanna break my promise to you guys. Oh, here we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm a big, big fan of shopping at Costco. 
because Costco has incredible prices and they have a ton of organic plant-based options. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the bulk foods that I get from Costco and how you can save a ton of money. So some of the stuff I get from Costco, I get this seeds of chain quinoa and brown rice. This is good to go. All you have to do is put it into a, um, a saucepan with a little bit of veggie broth or oil and it cooks right up. I love, love, love this in terms of a quick meal. Uh, I also really love uh, Amy's Organic Soups. These are with a non-BPA lining. I got this from Costco as well. It's a variety pack of low-sodium organic soups. Uh, you can also get black beans and garbanzo beans and navy beans in bulk. Again, BPA-free, fully organic. They're like 69 cents a can, so cheap. And I usually get uh, garbanzo beans and black beans because they're great after my workouts. Uh, I also keep some of Evolve uh, protein shakes on hand. I'm really liking these. These are a ready-to-drink protein uh, shake. They're a plant-based protein shake that I've been liking, especially taking these in the car because they don't need to be refrigerated. So I take these on the road sometimes, and I really, really like those. So I've got a, a bunch of those on bulk right there. And Claudia is really into Honey, do you want to show them something else, babe? What else do you want to show them, honey? And then here I have all of my vinegars, my oils, my cooking oils. Uh, these are all my supplements. If you guys came over from Facebook Live where I was talking about a lot of my supplements, well, here they are. So I've got my algae omegas. I've got my Adrenal Health, my Sun Warrior Raw Vitamins, uh, Bioavailable Folate. I've got Serosin, which is a brain health blend, Raw CoQ10. Uh, I also am really, really loving the My Kind Organics. Uh, this is the Vitamin D3 spray. So this is where I keep all of my nutritional supplements. Now, we've got a little more bulk food down here. I've got bulk organic cashews, uh, bulk organic marinated mushrooms. Uh, what else do I have back there? I've got I've got all I've all got all kinds of stuff I forgot about guys. This is the secret cabin. Nobody knows about it. I've got Luke's Superfood Organic Multigrain Seed Chips. I've got a giant bag of dried sun-dried figs. Uh, oh, I forgot about these sprouted pumpkin seeds from Go Raw. Love these. Great source of zinc and magnesium. And then I've got giant bags of hemp hearts because I love, love, love hemp seeds. Again, hemp seeds are one of the foods that I eat every single day. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to bust out these pumpkin seeds and have them because I'm in the mood for that right now. We've also got some organic pasta sauce because, you know, there are times, guys, when, when you just need, you need food and you need it quickly. So actually having an interview earlier today with, um, with a magazine and they asked me, what do I make for myself? Like as a chef who makes food for other people, what do I usually make for myself? And I was like, you know what? I keep it simple at home. And I keep it simple because I'm, I'm very busy and I'm usually making food for other people or doing food projects. So the way I eat at home, guys, every single day is like I wake up, I have a glass of warm water with apple cider vinegar or lemon juice to alkalize my body. I have uh, my workout. I do my superfood protein shake with Sun Warrior and hemp seeds and chia seeds and oh mushrooms and, and all kinds of great superfoods. Midday, I might have like a light salad or some coconut yogurt with fresh berries. And then in the evening time, I'll do something simple like a quinoa or millet bowl with some grilled or sauteed vegetables, a little bit of tempeh, a little bit of hemp tofu. I just eat really, I'm eating really clean and really light these days. And as a result, I'm feeling a lot better eating more simply. Uh, focusing on a whole food plant-based diet, minimal oil. But I know for my body that a higher level of protein and a higher level of fat actually feels better for me. So a lot of people are really digging carbohydrates. For me, since my metabolism is so high that if I do too many carbs and not enough fat and protein, I get way too thin. So this whole equation, guys, I'm giving you all these options and ideas of what I eat on a daily basis. But ultimately, what you need to do is figure out what works for your metabolism, your body type, and what helps you feel energized and lean and strong and good every day. So what works for me may, may or may not work for you, but for my body, I definitely need more density of nutrients, higher fat and higher protein to feel good. So that's about it, guys. You have seen, you have seen the, the secret cabinet. You have seen the main cabinet. Maybe next video, I'll do a fridge tour. I will do a, you know what, maybe next time I'll do a fridge tour. We just had a quick question. Sarah, good to see you. Thanks for being on the feed. You feel like you're using way too much salt in your food. If you're using way too much salt, you know what you might be able to substitute instead um, 
is I love nori flakes or dulse flakes. These are two types of seaweed that are really, really mineral dense. They're high in iodine and really, really healthy for you. And what I would recommend is getting a shaker of either dulse flakes, it's D-U-L-S-E or nori, N-O-R-I. And you can actually shake this seaweed onto your recipes much like you would salt. And you're getting the full spectrum minerals, you're getting the iodine, and it gives your, your foods a salty flavor without using too much salt. But if you are going to use salt, I highly recommend that you use a sea salt, a really high quality sea salt, kind of like the, um, uh, the Celtic sea salt I showed you guys. Liquid aminos, yes, absolutely, Avocado Man. Great, great recommendation for salt, liquid aminos. I do love my seaweed. Um, there's actually a blend out there of, it's called Gomasio, and I believe Eden Food sells it. And Gomasio is a blend of seaweed, a little bit of sea salt, and ground sesame seeds. And basically you just take the nori and the sesame seed and salt mixture and you just shake it on your recipes and it tastes amazing. So for any of you guys looking out there for a salt substitute or to reduce your sodium intake, you can definitely check out Gomasio. It's G-O-M-A-S-I-O. -O. Uh, pelvic gyrations, love your, I love your, your username. How often do I eat out on restaurants? I eat out at restaurants pretty frequently because there are some amazing restaurants here in Los Angeles where I live. There's a ton of amazing vegan restaurants and even non-vegan restaurants have tremendous plant-based options. So I eat out at restaurants right now probably twice a week, maybe three times a week. So two to three out of seven days a week, I'll go out and have a meal at a restaurant, usually because I'm busy and also because there are so many amazing um, restaurants here in Los Angeles to choose from. I think someone just asked about Gardein. Um, I don't eat a lot of mock meats or, or meat substitutes simply because a lot of them tend to be very processed and have a lot of processed ingredients. So for me, I've noticed that digestively, the cleaner and simpler my food is and the shorter the ingredient list, the more my body likes it. So if I am doing, say, something that's a little more dense or, quote, meaty, what I like to do is I like to do a to uh, hemp tofu. I like to do a tempeh. I like to do chickpeas. I like to do black beans. I don't really rely on processed vegan foods too much. Simply again, because my, my digestive system doesn't like complicated foods. Uh, we had a question about the pre-workout that I use. Yeah, I'll show you guys again. It is a brand. Da -da -da -da. Let me get it out of here. It's a brand called Ohm Mushroom Nutrition. This is the pre-workout that I use. Uh, it is fantastic, guys. It's gluten-free, non-GMO, fermented, made from mushrooms. It's cordyceps and reishi mushrooms, so it's great immune support. If you guys ever had um, the orange drink Tang growing up, it tastes just like Tang. So I'll take this before my workout, uh, and it's amazing. So here's what we're looking at. Vitamin C, B2, B3, B6, B12. And we have cordyceps, we've got turkey tail, maitake, king trumpet, yerba mate, guarana, and turmeric. So it does have a little caffeine in it due to the yerba mate and the guarana. And you can actually buy this. I know they sell this at Whole Foods. They sell this at natural markets. And you can also find it online uh, at Ohm Mushrooms. So really, really love that as my pre-workout. And then again, for my post-workout, I really like their Restore Blend. So I'll combine their res Restore Blend and then I will also uh, combine that with Sun Warrior Ormus Super Greens and also the Warrior Blend, and that's my post-workout drink. Someone just asked, is if, if it's live or is this pre-recorded? We are going live right now, guys. We are, we are live in the flesh, baby. This ain't pre-recorded. I'm here with you right now. I'm here with you along with my lazy cat. You guys want to say hi? They're like, Dad, we've been on the feeds all night. If you guys were with me earlier, I was on Facebook Live, I'm doing YouTube Live, and I'm probably going to bounce over to Instagram Live after this. Uh, but we're going on about 20 minutes now, guys, and uh, I want to do next for you. I want to do a refrigerator tour, but we're going to save that for the next one. So Megan asked me about probiotics. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of probiotics for a lot of reasons. Number one is that there's a lot of scientific research going into the fact that our, our gut is our second brain and that a lot of our intuitive intelligence, a lot of our brain health, a lot of our emotional health is actually affected by our gut flora and the type and quality of bacteria we have in our gut. 
So I'm a big fan of coconut yogurt. I'm a big fan of BioK. I'm a big fan of uh, coconut kefir. I'm a big fan of kombucha. I'm a big fan of any kind of probiotic, sprouted, fermented living foods because they help to repopulate our gut and our digestive tract with intelligent, healthy flora, which has been shown in certain research, especially if you guys dig into autism research, it's fascinating the connection between gut health and mood and emotional health. So for me, I know that when I take high levels of probiotics from cultured foods or probiotic foods, I feel better emotionally, my brain feels better, my digestion is good. So I'm a big, big fan of probiotic foods and no, you cannot overdose. Some people always ask me, well, can you overdose on probiotic foods? You can't overdose on probiotic foods. I have billions and billions of probiotics every single day. So no, you cannot overdose. There's no such thing as having too much good bacteria in your gut. Robin, good to see you. What brand of coconut yogurt do I recommend? I'm a big fan of a brand new one that just came out. If you guys know GT's Kombucha, GT's Kombucha is a brand that's been around for a long, long time. One of the original kombucha brands. They have a brand new coconut yogurt they just came out with called Coco Yo. It's GT's Coco Yo. I love it. It is tangy, it's fizzy, it's fermented. It's, it's definitely like a really like, woo, it's got a zingy flavor. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of their coconut yogurt. I like Coconut Grove. Uh, I like the unsweetened, so delicious coconut yogurt. But in terms of potency, like you can feel it when you take it, the GT's Coco Yo is like, boom, it, like it hits you with so much flavor. Uh, someone also asked coconut yogurt versus almond or soy yogurts. Um, I have nothing against almond yogurts. I personally like that coconut yogurt is a little bit extra fat. Like it's a little more dense, I feel flavor wise. So I like coconut yogurt simply because I mentioned I like a higher level of fat and protein in my diet and I just love, I love the texture and the density of coconut yogurts. Almond yogurts are good. Soy, I'm, I don't need a ton of soy products. And here's why, I don't need a ton of soy products because they do have phytoestrogens in them. They have an estrogen mimicking effect. And as someone who is gonna be turning 40 next week, and who wants to keep my testosterone high, I try not to have too much phytoestrogen foods in my diet. So I do eat soy, but when I do eat soy, I have moderate amounts of fermented soy. Like someone mentioned, I think Avocado Man mentioned natto. I like natto, I like tempeh, uh, I like miso, uh, but I don't do a ton of soy products, again, because I'm trying to keep my testosterone levels high as I age. Um, so, this is good, we're getting to do a good Q&A, you guys. A good Q&A, this is a deep one today, I like this. Uh, you bet I use reishi and shaga mushroom powders. I do, Tiger Greg. I love reishi and shaga mushroom powders simply because of their immune boosting effects. Uh, shaga mushrooms have been shown to have anti-mutagenic anti -mutagenic and anti-cancer effects. There's a ton of research in Asia and Russia about the effects of shaga mushrooms. So if you guys Google research about reishi and shaga mushrooms, those are two of the best mushrooms you could possibly be taking to supplement your diet. Thank you for the pre-birthday wishes, guys. I'm actually gonna do, I'll probably do a birthday broadcast next week. But anyway, we are going super long on this broadcast. I appreciate you guys, all your great questions. Uh, I will get to any additional questions you might have once we wrap this, but thanks for joining me on my kitchen tour. Uh, it's been nice to show you guys what I eat on a daily basis, what I keep on hand. And next up, I think we're gonna do a refrigerator tour. I think we're gonna do a refrigerator too. Eve, you're right, 40 is the new 21. And you know what? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling gosh darn good for 40. So thank you guys for joining me for this feed. Uh, how, off, how often will I do a live broadcast? You know what? I'm committed to doing one a week, Greg, but I'll probably step it up to three a week. Um, it really kind of depends when I have time. I'm, I'm kind of on Facebook and Instagram a lot, but I'm gonna step it up more here on YouTube because I know a lot of you guys have been with me for years and years on YouTube. And, uh, and I'm gonna step it up here on YouTube and start doing more videos for you guys because I just love you guys and I appreciate the support so much. We'll do a freezer tour as well. So next up, I'm gonna do a fridge tour and a freezer tour. Yes, that'll be next. So peace and blessings, you guys. Thanks for joining me always. Uh, appreciate your input, appreciate your knowledge and your passion for everything we talk about. And I will catch you guys soon with another video here on YouTube. Thanks for all the great comments and likes. And, uh, and be sure to spread the news. Subscribe and share this with your friends. And I'll see you guys very soon. Good night.